Hey guys, what's up? Hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So uh, today we are going to a vegetarian dish. It's called Bagan Kamasama. We call it Bagan Kamasama, and you know, but you can call it as Brinjal Curry. So this is my nani's, uh, you know, favorite dish. I love, I love whenever she prepares this, uh, you know, dish. Uh, so it's dedicated to my nani. Uh, she is not here right now with us at home. Uh, so my mom is going to be preparing that dish. So chalo, let's get started. So you need to have three to four brinjals. You need to peel off the skin of the brinjal. Ginger garlic paste. Three to four onions. Uh, some coriander leaves. Some curd. Uh, turmeric powder, chili powder, coriander powder and some garam masala that is uh, long elaichi let's get started all right you need to pour some oil onto your pan and keep the flame on medium we're gonna be uh, you know frying the brinjals first in medium flame You need to fry these brinjals for about 2 to 3 minutes until it's golden brown. Alright, so after cooking for 2 to 3 minutes, once it turns nice and brown, you need to uh, uh, you need to keep this in a bowl and let it cool for some time. In the meantime, we also fry our onion. So they need to turn light brownish. Add some oil to it a little bit. And then cook the onions until they turn brown. So once the onions turn, you know, start turning a little lightish brown. We need to add uh, long elaichi and cinnamon and then keep frying it for another minute. And now we will start with our masala. That's uh, ginger garlic that we had. Lal mirch, a little of coriander powder, or a haldi, thoda sa, and then mix it very well. And then we add our brinjal to this, and then you need to stir fry it for some time on a low flame. So after we mix it, we finally add the curd. And also add salt according to your taste. And then finally you need to let it cook for about 5 minutes in uh, low flame. Okay, so now the dish is ready. Let's see how it's come out. Wow. It's come out really, really well. We'll just garnish this with a little bit of coriander leaves and it's ready to serve. Okay, okay. So, uh, the dish is ready. Let me have this with uh, roti. Chalo, let's try this. I'm just gonna put this a little bit. And you can have this with uh, roti, with rice or anything. So, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let me 
try this. dish basically has a lot of memories so i remember you know whenever i used to go to my nani's house for like you know summer holidays and all of that so my nani used to prepare this dish so it's it's a pretty nostalgic feeling i should say and it's bringing a i mean you know it's bringing back a lot of memories do try this recipe and let me know how it turns out and also i just want to say hey nani i love you a lot and um, you know stay healthy and um, i hope you live more than 100 years all right guys so please like this video share this video and do subscribe to the channel until next time take care peace out bye bye